Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors and we're at the airfield today to test this little drone. This is the Hubson H122 DX4 Storm. I'm just going to call it the Storm Drone. Uh, it's a little brushed motor, 5.8 gigahertz FPV drone. I believe you just pair this up to your own goggles, whatever you have. Uh, some systems will come with a little monitor external. Uh, there's a few different ways you can pick this up. It's kind of like, like a Blade Inductrix, a little bit bigger. It's like an upgrade from a Blade Inductrix. That's probably the best place to put this. And it's, it must be a downgrade from the H123D. Yes, because the H123D came out after this. I kind of missed this one. <laughs> Did them a little out of order, but as I did the H123D, I saw this and I thought we should do that. A friend of ours that came to uh, RCS Fest, Flying Brian Hutch, has one and seems to like it a lot. And that's probably the only person that I know that has one of these and seems to just love it. So I'm going to base his opinion on my experience here fairly heavily. I'm excited to try it. I don't think it'll perform as well as the 123D. It's also a bit cheaper. It comes in right around, right around $100. Should be a few bucks less than that, but that's not bad. That's not bad for what we get here. So let's take a look and see what comes in this small box. And then I have a surprise that I'm going to use today. And I kind of debut. It's what I got for my birthday. Very excited to show you guys. You got a take lot a for your birthday. Well, this is the main thing I got for my birthday. <laughs> If you're interested in this, we'll have it linked in the description box below. Here is the drone. To give you a size reference, it's fairly small. Little brushed motors, directly driven. There are no gears involved, and that's a good thing. Uh, we see our little antenna on the back for our 5.8 gigahertz. As the beeping gets louder! <laughs> this construction vehicle is going around up here. So, there's our drone. I, I think it's fairly durable, according to Brian. Uh, he's crashed it quite a bit, and sorry Brian, but it's the truth. Uh, he says it holds up really well. Uh, there is a very hidden micro SD card slot. I've lost it again. I already just put the card in there. We popped one in here. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys. We did not have a spare on hand because the one that we're going to use is in the thing I'm going to surprise you with. Uh, so this is actually just a two gig little cheap card that came from like a cheap drone. It may not work very well. So if not, I apologize. It also could fill up kind of quickly. It comes with a flight battery. It is a 710 milliamp LiPo battery to sell. Everything is just the power is pulled through the balance lead and that's how you charge it as well. Kind of interesting. It's charged through a USB cable that's included. A little light lets you know when it's charging. Four spare props. Screwdriver. Take the props on and off. Screws. Another screwdriver. And here's the transmitter. If you happen to get the one with the monitor that costs a little more, they give you a place to put that monitor. But we're going to use goggles. I wanted to just save a little money. I've already got FPV goggles, so why not? Light button, power button, there's no altitude hold. This is kind of like your first steps into the world of 5.8 gigahertz FPV. You don't really want altitude hold in most cases with that because you're. this is like a baby step to get into a race drone. So, uh, like I said, I, I believe if you're a Blade Inductrix FPV type of fan, or any kind of mini whoop, you want to step it up just a hair, this is a little baby step in that direction. Very excited to show this to you guys. Ba boom! Upgrade. Upgrade from this. This is going to be kind of a two in one video because I'm debuting my Quantum Cyclops diversity goggles. I thought about getting the Pro. Look at that, the sun's coming out. Look, the sun is even like, oh, it looks so good and this looks so bad. Not really. These have been amazing for me over the years. Um, they're my fallback goggles. They work so well. And I'm kind of sad to get rid of them, but I already know where they're going to a very good friend, Gary. Can't wait to meet up with you and these are now yours. I'm retiring them, no more use. They're waiting on you. Quantum Cyclops goggles. Why did I get the diversity and not the pro? I almost got the pro actually. 
I wanted a DVR built in. The one thing that my goggles don't have that I always have to do, Abby brings her fat sharks so we can record, but I always fly on my goggles. So what ends up happening is my visual experience in our videos is different from what you guys are actually seeing because she might be on a slightly different channel. Now I have the ability to record to the DVR built in. Whatever I'm seeing, you guys can now see too, exactly what I'm seeing. And I'm very excited. I should have done this a long time ago. But sometimes I have a thing where if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I know I'm a review channel, a test channel, but my goggles have just worked so well over the years. And for a person with glasses, this is the solution. Now I also have two different types of antennas on here, which I will probably be switching up down the road because I did on the other ones. Have an auto scan. I can manually adjust my channels now instead of just auto scanning. That's a big, 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 big upgrade. And a few other little things that I can do. But the main thing is I can record that footage. I'm excited to fly this very much and test my goggles with you guys. So let's put it in the air. I can see what you guys see. Now I can switch over to video receiver so I don't have the little bit of lag. I'll have to talk about these goggles more in another video, but let's fly. So I started the motors. Down and out, out on your sticks. Down and out and then just throttle up and fly around. So the video looks good. I will give it that. I'm just kind of cruising right now. Looks really good. Getting a little staticky out there, so we don't have amazing range with this. At least paired with my goggles. I hate when these little things are so tiny. It's okay, we'll go with some FPV here. Hmm, that's okay. Good little practice for 5.8 gigahertz at close range, like a front yard, backyard flyer. Higher rates, you just click the right stick. Much higher, way snappier. Okay, all right, cool. Nothing upside down though. There's uh, just normal auto level. Just click on that right stick. Click it again. Let's us go really far forward. Left stick. That was weird. It beeped three times. Why did it beep three times? Oh, flip. Click the left stick and pick a direction for a flip. So it has auto flips. Okay. I think I like flying this in the lower rate. Just cruising around. Yeah. Now these goggles, Abby, they're heavier than my other ones. At least... Like, Has more stuff them. going on. Yeah. So now it's kind of like pinching my nose more than the others. So now I talk like death when I do my videos. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But it feels like I am. It feels like it's pinching my nose. I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, the video looks really good. Uh, we have some telemetry on screen, at least I do from the drone. There is a button I can hit to clear that. That's supposed to. It says clear screen button. What is... It said that in the instructions to hit that little big button down there and it's supposed to clear it. Oh! Come on, throttle. Okay, we can also turn our headlight on and off. Not that that really matters right now. Just cruising, guys. This is a... What this is, is just an upgrade to a Blade Inductrix FPV. If you want to learn to fly with 5.8 gigahertz, you don't want to step into a full-fledged race drone yet. You want to get outside and go back and forth like this, just kind of get a feel for low latency FPV, I think this is a good solution for that. Otherwise, I don't know if there's much need for it. Do some flips again. Okay. So you just click that left stick. I'll Try to lower it some, right. and let's do a flip. You just click that left stick and then push the right stick in whatever direction you want to go. So we talked a little bit about this off camera, but tell the viewers what's the main difference between this one, the H122D, and the one we had just a few weeks ago, the H123D, the newer version. Uh, the main thing is brushless motors. You actually have a little bit more control over that drone. Uh, they put in kind of an acro mode, kind of, like a beginner's acro mode, I call it, and uh, that's, that's it, more powerful, um, yeah, brushless motors, they should last longer, hold up better, but I'm going to mention Brian again here, uh, he has flown his a lot, says it's held up really well, 
crashed it a lot. I think he has the original props on his. I just watched that video recently because I had mine coming. So I wanted to check it out and see what he thought. Uh, good guy, good guy. Came to RCS Fest, so great guy, great guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is this is fun. It's a good drone. Not gonna, you can't really you know set any records with it, but as I say, just kind of a stepping stone to get into race drones. I'm enjoying my goggles more than anything, guys. The fact that I can just now come out here with my goggles, I don't have to bring Abby's Fat Sharks just so I can record it for you is what's really nice. So which one should people buy? Um, the drone or the goggles? The drone. <laughs> I would totally get the H123D over this. So we'll have that link down in the description box below so you can check out the product and check out our video and we'll have it carded and end screen too. This is fun though in its own right. Like it's, I really feel like I'm flying a Blade Inductrix FPV Cool. but it's more capable and able to fly outside. I wish I had the prop guards on it because I could like, oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> I flew under one of the, Slow. it was a, it felt like a lower one. <laughs> I like went by one to think, okay, can I do this? And then, oh no, 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 not lined up. We'll do the last one here. Maybe, oh no, 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 down and out. Start, stop the motors. That's a good place to stop. <laughs> Made a mistake. Forgot to hit the video button on the drone. So here's a little bonus at the end. I was gonna be done flying, but I hit the video button on the drone. Now you guys can see, hopefully, as long as it saves to the SD card, uh, what it looks like. I'm just flying line of sight, just so you can see the video quality of what saves to the drone directly compared to my FPV footage. And, and actually looking at the FPV footage, this will be my first time um, watching the DVR footage on on my new goggles, so that's that's all new to me. For those goggles, uh, just just hovering around here for a few more seconds, just so you can see the video quality. Let's go into some shadows. I'm just going to do this in and out of shadows, just so people can see camera quality. You don't have to chase it necessarily. Flies line of sight really well. I will I will give it that, and it flies line of sight really well. I like this. You're flying faster okay, line of a, sight than what you did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's our low battery warning. Into the darkness of the shadow. On the transmitter and the drone. Hubson H122D X4 Storm Drone. About $100. To be honest, it's not bad. But we can't think of this as something that it is not. Yes, guys. There are drones out there that you can buy for about $100 that have brushless motors, they're micro setups, they're like receiver ready, and they probably perform a lot better than this. But newsflash, not everybody out there either has the time, the knowledge, or even just wants to buy a receiver to put in a universal transmitter to fly. Sometimes we like to just take it out of the box and fly it. And if you're one of those kinds of people, don't feel bad. Don't let anyone uh, put you down and make you feel bad. Happens to us all the time. People do not like when we do ready to fly stuff. You can save so much money if you built your own drone and put it on your own transmitter. Yes, I know. We have. Thank you. But this has a time and a place. And if you are the type of person, again, I think the perfect application. You've got a micro FPV thing like a Blade Inductrix. You want to step up a little bit and fly just casually outside like we did here. Just close proximity, 5.8 gigahertz FPV flying. This is fun. I still would recommend probably getting the 123D, the upgrade, but it costs more. So if this is your budget, $100 for this, you've already got your goggles. I like it a lot for what it is. I'll have a link in the description box below. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.